Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you our powder room makeover. I do not have before pictures or videos, but this is the basement bathroom and we have never used this bathroom. But the wallpaper in the bathroom, that the powder room that we did upstairs, it was exactly the same wallpaper except the green was like way darker green and the purple was way darker purple and there was none of this white. It was like all just dark green and purple. It was exactly the same mirror, exactly the same light fixture. And I'll show you what the vanity looked like. So we ripped down the wallpaper with a mixture of soap, vinegar, and hot water. And we just sprayed it and then let it soak in a little bit and then just peeled it away. So we had to change the vanity. So we got this one from Home Depot. It's by Glacier Bay. I'll link everything down below. And we did run into a problem because we could not change these floors. So these floors are original to the house, but there's no floor hair. So because this vanity goes up, you could see like wood. So we just got this little white board and it was actually my uncle's genius idea. He put that in there. And then we got a faucet to go with it. I really, really wanted a black faucet, um, actually an oil rub bronze faucet, because I love oil rub bronze um, as a metal but it was out of the budget, so we just um, settled for this one. And then this mirror is from Marshall's 1999. Cannot beat it, it's the perfect texture, and it has wood on the borders, and it goes with the whole look. Towel rack is from Hobby Lobby, it was $3. The light fixture, which is the oil rub bronze, um, is from Wayfair. That was about $60, and I'll link it below. The price goes up and down, though, so it might cost more or less now. So this little succulent, it was a dollar at Target, and this little pot was a dollar at Target, and the rocks were free from outside. And the lighting is a bit yellow in this bathroom, um, and that's due to the vintage Edison bulbs. So guys, I wanted to do something on this side of the room without breaking the bank. So I found this um, long shelf at my uncle's house and I just sawed it and then stained it and put it up with L brackets. The L brackets are from Home Depot. Um, I used black screws, but you can see I ran out. So I could use two silver ones. So I'm just going to go back and paint those so it all blends in. Alright, so I didn't want to clutter the shelf too much and I try to work with things that I mostly already had. Um, so let's just go through these items. So this little fake plant is from TJ Maxx. It was $5. This little wired basket, which I have toilet paper in, was also $5 from AC Moore. This little pot is $3 from AC Moore. I am actually reusing this. It used to be in my son's nursery. So reusing that, that was purchased a while ago, so I can't remember. This is from TJ Maxx for three to $4. I have some seashells here my son picked from our San Diego, California vacation, which was awesome if you're planning to visit. And then my Heartland Cow is from Hobby Lobby. That was $7. This little plant is $1 from Michael's Arts and Crafts. And let me give you guys an awesome tip here. Goodwill has hardcover books for $1. They are great for decor. They can be used to add pops of color and they can add height to items. And they are just a great affordable way to decorate your house. And then we did change this as well. This is from Wayfair, again, oil rub bronze. And um, there was like a big clunky silver one, so I wanted something more sleek. So the last little tip I have for you guys, since it's a smaller room, 
you want to use a lighter color. That way it feels bigger and not closed in. And I do have a question for you guys. Please let me know what color is your powder room right now. So now you guys have seen my powder room. I hope there were some helpful tips in there. And remember, even small rooms can make big statements. So pay attention to those small rooms too. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.